You were just in the moment with, with my camera there. Mm. And uh, that's fine. That's completely fine. Um, Clearly, right time, right place. Right time, right place. So, <laughs> like, like I said, Meant to this be. wasn't planned or anything. This was just happened in the moment and mm. you managed to capture us a, a moment. That's and with good scenery in behind. <laughs> yeah, well... Sparkling water. Uh, we are definitely back on the sparkling water. We're also back on the podcast. Oh. <laughs> it's a good one. Bubbly. <laughs> it's bu- very bubbly. Uh, Thanks. Mount Franklin, light, lightly sparkling. No flavor with this one. Basic. I don't know why this is a thing now. <laughs> ASMR? No? Doesn't, doesn't do anything for you? Not to me, but... Uh, Each to their own. This is not a, a paid sponsorship or anything for Mountain Franklin, but I'm just going to place that there. No, that's going to annoy you. Give it to me. <laughs> that's going to... That's fine. <laughs> um, so we're back for another episode of Photo Stories. Yes, we are. Uh... We seem to talk a lot. We do. The previous one. We do. We do. <laughs> it's a good one. I like it. I, I enjoy it. I don't. I hope the viewers enjoy it. So, a little insight. Have you got some good ones for me today? I do. Um, am I starting again? Do you want to start again? <laughs> Not really, but whatever. I- <laughs> you start this time. Let's let's okay. Uh, let's change what, it up. Let's see what you've got. For change me today. it up. Let's see what you've got for me today. I don't know if you've seen. You probably you haven't seen this photo. Then, well, last episode I made a plug to someone in my family. My grandpa. Shout out to Pa. <laughs> Shout out to Pa. <laughs> so this is Pa. Oh wow! This is a few years ago though. It was Christmas a few years ago. But um. And who's the girl standing next to him? Oh, that's you. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> you look different in every photo. It's the hair. It's the hair. Wow. So when was this taken? Um, Christmas or pre-COVID. So it must have been the was, Christmas of 2019. Yeah, this looks like a, a photo before my time. Yes, uh, yes. Before we met. Um, yes. And in behind there is my dad's... Um, you can see a little snippet to the side. He's not sticking his finger up. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I just wanted to make sure. Watch, there. watch which I finger. Just wanted it to is. make sure. There. But it is an angry Santa. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dad did a sign um, for Christmas. Uh, did you want to give us a bit of a? Uh... So, Pa is a rare breed, and so I feel I've like heard. so I've heard. I've I've told so- like I always tell stories about him because he's just like next level, like just. Brain full of knowledge and he's currently what, 92 years old yep. and not afraid of trying new things. For From from what you've told me, he's very uh, outgoing mm-hmm. he's in pretty, terms of uh, technology and... Mm, loves technology. So as soon as like computers became a thing, yep. he was on board. Yep. Like, And for someone who has never touched a computer in his life... Yep. He's just like willing to try. Much respect there for Pa yeah. right there. So, and then he got on board with like online banking and yeah. like he did everything before most. That's uh, <laughs> that's that's really amazing. Yeah, and now I feel like he um he's on board with oh, he had, he's gone through several iPads. <laughs> um, couldn't live without that now. Uh, he has an iPhone. He wow. has, and his recent purchase was a watch. Yeah, you told me so about that. So he's like that's, decked out. He's got the whole Apple family. Yeah. No, that's massive respect for me because yeah. I know people who are younger than that, than he is. Who struggle, yeah. They struggle. Mm. They don't even put in the effort to try and. Uh, no, it's all too hard. To, to learn. Whereas he's like, he'll work it out. Yeah. And like when COVID hit and we had to do like FaceTime, he called me and he's like, how do I do this FaceTime thing? Because I need to call my doctor. Yeah. I'm like, do you want me to FaceTime you? On the spot. Yep. 
let's do this. That's, and he was like, oh, there you are. That's, like, <laughs> that's, I reckon that's... I, we still struggle sometimes maybe with like getting people on screen and yeah, stuff. Yeah, but yeah, That's... And I think he loves that fact that um, technology can keep him connected mm. with people. Mm. Like he's on the email and he has like group of friends that he emails all the time and they send each other like funny stuff. Yeah. And having introduced him to YouTube, he gets onto YouTube now and he just watches. There's like a whole new world out there. Of uh, Since you mentioned YouTube, is mm. he watching us right now? I don't know. I'm, I'm going to have to make him subscribe now. <laughs> <laughs> he's clearly got no, a feature. No pressure, Pa. No pressure. <laughs> yeah. But uh, uh, massive respect. Yeah. For for knowing how to use technology because uh, mm. I can't say that for everyone. No, so some people I feel like it, it scares people. Whereas he's yeah, yeah. never been that uh, way. It's more intimidation. Yeah. But also you can't use that as an excuse to rely on someone else. Mm. Uh, having said that, I get relied on mm. in regards no, to uh, technology, which you know because I – Yeah, a little – we my, call you uh, – Apple genius, my, <laughs> tech I, support. I tell you my frustrations with uh, uh, people relying on me to get their problems solved mm. and then whinge about it like I created the technology because it doesn't <laughs> work for them. Like why would you put that button there? <laughs> yeah, why do I have to swipe up to unlock my phone? <laughs> I don't know. Did you want me to bring it up to with Tim Cook or anything? Like <laughs> did you want me? I think like technology just scares some people and they're just not willing to. That's fine, but... I feel like you would be so out of touch though nowadays because yeah. we're so reliant on technology keeping in touch. Yeah. But that's not an excuse to rely on someone because no. if you can't look that's after true. yourself... Mm. But my pa will try and work anything out. <laughs> that's why I can't... I can't... Uh, like I can't be... I'm, I'm just surprised to be yeah. honest. I'm su- I think it surprises a lot of people. Like... Um, He'll text and email and yeah. like none of that's a, a big deal anymore. Yeah. It just comes naturally now. Yeah. And because he's been always willing to accept it. Um, even he was a big traveler mm-hmm. back in the day and he used to take like a handy cam. Wow. I feel like he was like pre vlog. Are you saying he? It was like a vlog without having turned around facing oh, right, him. Right, okay. But he would document it and yep. he would talk. And yep. I'm like, you're ahead of your time. He could have been a YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> Probably is. We don't, we don't know. I know, right. We don't know. Could, maybe in another life. Could be, uh, it could be doing YouTube. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> we have a secret channel we don't know about. <laughs> no, no. Don't know. Maybe we inspired him. Maybe. maybe you inspired him. Maybe, maybe. Anything is possible. He does have an Instagram account too because wow. he follows me. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. I, I so I always I, expect a double tap. I don't even have Instagram. I mean, I do, but I don't really use it. But. <laughs> He's a rare breed, all yeah. I could say. <laughs> no, that's um, – I, I, I don't know him personally, but mm. from what you've told me mm. – you have something he's, to he's, be proud of. Yeah, he's so good to talk to. Like I always talk to you about I can just talk about anything yeah. and everything. Yeah. Buying my apartment, it was like always kept in touch, um, you know, going through whole, all that like banking stuff and we, we just talk about everything and anything that's, and travel and yeah. history. He's just like he's been through it all. <laughs> like, yeah, no, that's, yeah, I think with the, uh, the older folks, mm. uh, the ones, you could appreciate it. Yeah, the ones who've been through a lot, mm. but they're willing to keep up with the times. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So well, you've like to even go through, and we've, I've talked to him about this, like pre-internet, pre-TV, pre, like yeah, he's gone through it all. I'm like, you've learned so much and yeah, gone through yeah, so much. Yeah. Now you've got kids who've got everything and yeah, it's like, yeah. I don't know how you survived without it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, well, the world did <laughs> It's different That's generations, how we got to here. Different, different generations, different uh, uh, mm. lifetime, I guess. Yeah, how we survived. Like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I say that because my dad, he isn't 90 or anything, but he is... Mm. Uh, he likes to keep he up. He likes to keep up. Mm. And I feel like I am proud of him because mm. of that. Because mm. there's actual effort yeah. to, to willing to learn. Mm. I think I get that from him as well. Yeah. Um, that's my my willingness to learn new things. Yeah. Especially technology related. For sure. Mm. Just to keep up with the times. Yeah. So um, my dad does have his own Mac, Mac Mini. 
Uh, I'm not going to lie, I do spoil him. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> with my hand-me-downs and uh, sometimes, you know, buy him new things. Mm. He's got like Apple TV, yeah. iPhone, I think iPad. once, and like my grandpa too, he, once you got him on board with Apple, he just liked the fact that it was simple yeah. to use. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's pretty user-friendly once you get to, you know, know it. And the fact that, oh, he, another one. He had an, uh, I think he still uses an iPod in his car because yeah. he has thousands now of there's songs. There's a throwback. <laughs> Which iPod do we know? I don't even know. It's old, okay. but I think it's full. Yeah. But he still uses it and gets still on works. iTunes. And, still works? Yeah. No, look after the your stuff. There. That's look right. After your stuff. Yeah. They last for, for But all the Apple stuff, like he knows it all syncs up and yeah. it all works. and Yeah, it just makes it easier for him. Yeah. Yep. Everything's organized. That's uh, so that's par. That's something to Shout be proud out of. Par. So <laughs> hopefully he's watching and uh, massive respects and keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Your Moving turn. On. Your on. turn. So what do you got? My first photo for today is this photo. Mm. Now I don't know if you've seen this photo. Yes. You have? I think yes. I have shown you I this photo. I have seen this photo. So. Mm-hmm. Not to alarm anyone, but that is not my baby that I'm holding. <laughs> I am uh, not a, a dad, mm-hmm. but that I am an uncle, a proud uncle. Um, that is my little nephew, uh, <laughs> Edison Ho. Uh, when he was Eddie. first born, uh, <laughs> probably almost a year now, mm. almost 11 months. COVID baby. Yes. <laughs> he was the first... Mm-hmm. Grandchild in yep. in the uh, Ho uh, household, <laughs> um, yeah. So little Edison, the new bundle of joy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, after we uh, lost Andy, mm-hmm. so he's the new distraction now. <laughs> yeah. uh, he's the spoiled one he now. He's the spoiled one. He is the little Ho. <laughs> um, this was shot on a uh, smartphone by my mum in the background there, if you can see. In the background there, <laughs> She's right got the there. reflection. Uh, <laughs> this was an unexpected photo that was taken at my brother's house. Mm-hmm. I was sort of forced to take to hold to hold the baby. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I think I, I asked was, you too. I was like, I have was, you held the baby? I was pretty nervous considering how little he is. And, yeah. Uh, I don't want to drop him or anything because I don't no. want to be known as that uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Give yourself a bad rep. <laughs> yeah. So... This was the first time I met him and uh, I think that was when he got home from the hospital as well. Mm, mm. I he could be wrong, fresh. but that was the first time <laughs> I met him. So he didn't really, uh, and that was probably the only time he was awake, I think. <laughs> yeah, his eyes opened there, so. Just, just. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he's a little stinker, I'm not going to lie. You've met <laughs> you, him. You do call him stinky. You, you, you have met him. I You've have met, met him, him recently. Yes. And uh, what are your thoughts? No, he's super cute. Yeah, he loves to smile. And he's got so much personality. He does, yeah. he does. He's and he's an eater. Like, we, yeah, went, yeah. we went first, out. The first time you met him was at a Middle Eastern restaurant. Yeah, and he was going and for he it. he was going for it, yeah, he was going for it. <laughs> Just, you know, getting his palate ready for... <laughs> yeah, he's going to, he, yeah, he, he loves to, to joke around and, and laugh, smile. Mm. But he does have his moments. Yes. Like every other baby. That's when you like to give it back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do carry him here mm. and there, but uh, yeah, he likes to. Uh, I think he likes my glasses. And he's very fascinated with it. Yeah, yeah. Like, what are these? But also, he still laughs and smiles mm. when I don't have my glasses on. Like mm. last week, he was at my house and I didn't have my glasses on. Did you recognize him? I was just him? nodding. I was just like, <laughs> hey, hey. Hey, and then he just like started laughing at me. I'm like, okay, this is a thing. Now. I'm hilarious. This is a thing. Now. <laughs> and uh, every time he comes over, my brother likes to uh, play hard at peekaboo. So mm-hmm. peekaboo, not yeah. hard is it peekaboo? Um, when I'm behind the Mac screen, right? Oh, like, you're teaching him early and too. My, and my brother would hold him and <laughs> slowly creep up on top of the screen or the side of the screen. He loves it. He he can't stop smiling. <laughs> yeah. um, Very cute. Yeah. A lot of people say he looks like my dad. Mm-hmm. Now, I'll, I'll let you be the judge of that when I show you my dad <laughs> in one of these photos. But um, he's a, a bundle of joy for the household. Yeah, change things up a little. Yeah. 
that's uh, my uh, first photo for this episode. Okay, Eddie we're on to little Eddie Ho. He's so <laughs> cute. I'm sure he'll make another appearance. Well, well maybe. <laughs> no, maybe. I don't, I don't have that many photos of him, but I can whip one up. I'm sure. <laughs> We've got like a whole photo album at home, so. <laughs> he's not even one yet. <laughs> no, he's got his own Instagram as well. But oh, God. I probably shouldn't plug that. <laughs> All right, next. Ooh, I like, I like. I like what I'm seeing here. We're going throwback Oof, okay. to 20, 21 year old. You've seen this one. 21 year old me. This was my very first trip out of the country okay. <laughs> when I was 21. Yep. And the guy in the photo is a friend I met in our, during university. Okay. And did you want to shout him out? Kaz. Kaz. Shout out to Kaz <laughs> if you're watching. I think he subscribed, so he's getting a little plug. Yep. Um, yeah, we went to Europe together. Yep. We went on a Kentucky trip. Dangerous. <laughs> I just, wow, that's, the fringes there. It's See, there's more, all these type of fringes. More thick. More <laughs> and the, very dark hair I had. <laughs> you're still wearing black, so that's, nothing's changed. Yeah, nothing's eh? changed there. Um, but yeah, this was like the first venture out of the country. Okay. I think- okay. I remember really vividly like landing in London and being like, I'm on the other side of the world. <laughs> like, this so is bizarre. <laughs> you said this was 21-year-old Chris. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. Over a decade ago. That's Yeah, that's, that's, what's, uh, oh, that's what's... Cringe. That's what's I'm amazing because we've got these photos yeah. of how young is And I was. don't even feel like that that's... That long ago. Like I still remember that trip. Yeah. Where was this taken exactly? That was, uh, I was in Switzerland. Right. Okay. On the. Going up one of those um, gondola things. Yeah. Yeah. He looks more excited to be in the photo than you do. Was it? I think I was cold. Right. There had to be a reason why you looked a bit like, oh, okay, we're, we're doing this. like, okay. oh my God, I'm cold. Okay. And we were probably up really high. Not that I'm scared of heights, yeah. but oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to lie. No. And it was his first trip over like to Europe. He'd obviously come from Japan, mm-hmm. but had been away from home for a long time anyway. But um, yeah, it's my first trip like actually away from family and on my lonesome. Well, not really, but. <laughs> that's, well, that's the thing about these photos, right? Mm. We have something to look back on. Mm-hmm. And there's always a story behind each photo that's taken. Yeah. Speaking of like photos, I took. I think 3,000, 4,000 photos wow. on this trip. <laughs> wow. Okay. There was a lot. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. So this is the normal me. I, <laughs> there was a Kentucky trip. I Let's just say there's uh, plenty of others well, I've heard, out there. I've heard stories, so I don't... I don't there's a whole album. <laughs> um, I, this was prior to we to us meeting, so... Yeah. This was a different... Me. Yeah, you don't want to see. Well, twenty-one year old. You don't want to see twenty-one year old David Ho. So. I was very PG, but let's just say I. I still think you saw, are. <laughs> probably. I'm slowly, slowly like unlocking stages, but <laughs> yeah, that doesn't surprise me that you're still PG. <laughs> what I meant to be, at, at the least. At okay. The least. Okay. Okay. But um, never yet. It's, it's, it's a know, good. It's, it's a good trip, and I think I've always remembered that first trip like vividly. Like the, I've done a lot of traveling yeah. since. Yeah. But I think your first trip is kind of most memorable too. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. I like, can say the same with my Europe, yeah. my first Europe trip. Which... I think I documented stuff. Like I was a bit of a. I didn't have an iPhone. Yeah. I took like a little Canon camera. And I think I had like a Motorola or something back then that wow. I had to like put roaming on and like wow. text mum. Okay. That's <laughs> but, interesting. Yeah, it was just like you're pretty much on your own when you travel. Whereas now it's like you're still, you can still access the internet. And yeah. So I didn't have any of that. So yeah. it was literally like trying to find a phone to call home and say I'm still alive. <laughs> yeah, like the cards, yeah. different SIM cards. Yeah. yeah. Whereas now it's more WhatsApp and Viber. Yeah. I remember getting into like halfway through my trip, I think I was in Italy 
I was like, I'm so homesick. Really? <laughs> I got really homesick. I was like, I want to go home. But I got over that pretty quick. <laughs> uh, okay, since we're like... Yeah, we're reminiscing now. On, uh, we're low on time. Okay. Uh, my last photo, mm-hmm. a recent photo. Ooh, I took this Taken photo. Taken by you. I did. I haven't even seen this. Yeah. So... Oh, that was. I was going <laughs> in the through, moment. I was going through the photos, and uh, Carissa did manage to catch a good moment when a random dog. Yeah, this was funny, wasn't that it? That was uh, the owner was there, but uh, the dog it was, was a friendly dog. <laughs> the, the owners were sitting on uh, to, to my left uh, on the chairs that mm-hmm. they brought, yeah, and um, you know, just looking over the view behind me. Mm. This photo was taken at. Uh, Memorial Park in Macedon. Yes. Mountains. Yeah. So it's a very nice view. Mm. And uh, yeah, I was just sitting there and just, uh, we were doing a time lapse. So we were just hanging around. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> and then this dog just came out of nowhere and uh, befriended you. <laughs> yeah. Just came up and uh, sat on my, my, on my lap. And uh, I think I got a shot of it jumping off you. Yeah. Too. There was a few <laughs> was shots. Like a but I think this one was the yeah. best one because uh, no, it's the right moment. Yeah. <laughs> it just looked. Very uh, sort of interesting, mm. like as if it, it's my dog. Yeah. Uh, it just, no, it kind of like crept in between your legs yeah, yeah. and like got. <laughs> I just <laughs> made I itself like, at home. I like that photo because not because of how it looks, but it's more you've captured a moment where a Something dog random. <laughs> it was a random moment, and it was a it, the dog just came up to me and was mm. comfortably sitting there for at least uh, was it thirty seconds. Mm. Um, yeah, so that's <laughs> it was funny. It's just nice to know that I'm comfortable to just, yeah, you must have dog, been very approachable <laughs> for a dog, to, yeah, for, very yeah. approachable for a dog to just come up and sit on my lap, yeah, and uh, too funny, <laughs> yeah. If it, I think even the owners said that that's that's never yeah. happened before, yeah. but yeah, so that's uh, that's a good shot. That I was like one it. of our recent adventures, it was so, yeah. Maybe not the most successful <laughs> adventure no, we've no, been no, on, no, no. but you know we still managed to get. And we did get a few photos. Uh, we did. Mainly, you did of me because mm. uh, uh, you know you were just in the moment with, with my camera there, mm. and uh, that's fine. That's completely fine. Um, Clearly, right time, right place. Right time, right place. So, <laughs> like, like I said, meant to this be. This wasn't planned or anything. This was just happened in the moment, and mm. you managed to capture us a, a moment that's and with good scenery in behind. <laughs> yeah. Well. No. <laughs> That was a good day. That like was, was, sun uh, was, was out. That was good. Just captured a good moment, and uh, it does make me miss Andy. But um, yeah, no, it's good. It's it's a good shot. Thanks. <laughs> There's a bit of a story <laughs> behind that. So yeah, um, I don't, don't want to get into more of it because there really, really isn't much. It's just yeah, that was a good. But uh, I just wanted to throw it. It was funny. There. It was a funny moment. It was a funny moment. So I just kept snapping. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, they're the kind of shots we want to get more of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully we'll be more uh, interesting shots in the next adventure. Where are we off to? <gasps> oh, that's for us to know. Yeah. But uh, if you want to see, uh, follow us on Vero and Instagram. So or follow me on Vero. <laughs> and me on Instagram. <laughs> and, uh, on Instagram. <laughs> but you are posting on Vero, so that's, that's I good am, stuff, I am. So, yeah. I think that we can end it there because we're mm. pretty much running out of time. We are. So, we'll yeah, be. hopefully um, we, can good do, we can do another one. We can. Uh, more photos. Yeah, definitely. Definitely <laughs> more photos. Cool. So, All right. go find some more. Yep. See ya. See ya. <laughs>